Hey guys, this is Eric with Try Not To Break Anything. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon cutting tool. Today's gonna be a very simple video. You're only gonna need one tool and that's gonna be your 1.5 Allen wrench or hexagonal wrench. Other parts you're gonna need is obviously some more cutting blades. Bamboo Lab says you gotta replace these blades every couple kilograms of filament that you run through the AMS, especially when you're doing the filament swaps for multicolor prints. But me personally, I change my blades when I start noticing that my AMS is having a hard time pulling out the filament from the extruder. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. First things first, we're gonna wanna go ahead and turn off the Bamboo Lab printer. Just gotta reach for it right. Ah, there it is. You're gonna turn it off. If you're like me and you've got the AMS on top of your Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, it's probably not a bad idea to get the AMS off to do this next part, just so that way we can have access to the top part of our printer. All right, and now with the glass ceiling removed, we're gonna go ahead and remove the faceplate off of the extruder and hot end of the X1 Carbon. And what I like to do is just bring it over here and have it rest on top of here gently. You don't wanna scratch the carbon rods, so just be careful with that. Now, I'm gonna show you where the cutter is before we remove it. Here is the cutting blade right here. This is the arm that activates the cutting blade uh, every time that the printer comes straight to the front of the machine and then goes left and looks like it hits the wall every time it's doing a filament change. So this is the part we're gonna be replacing. And it's real simple. In order to do that, you're just gonna get your 1.5 hex key and you're gonna go ahead and find this black screw right here. I don't know if it's gonna be black on your system, but it's black on mine. While holding the arm of the cutter, or giving it at least something to rest on, you're gonna go ahead and screw that black screw or the screw right here. It's really acting as a stopper for the cutting arm. And you're just gonna unscrew it until you feel the arm wanting to go all the way out. When it comes out, it then exposes the cutting tool or the cutting blade. All right, this is very simple. Now at this point, you just go ahead and slide out the uh, blade right here and voila, here it is. Let's take a look at these two blades that I got from Bamboo's website. On the left side, you can see what looks like a brand new blade. This is a blade that does not need to be replaced. However, the one on the right is obviously dull. That's the type of blade it found on your system that needs to be replaced. So let me show you how to replace it now. I wanted to get into a better angle here. So you're gonna put the blade back into the previous slot that it was in. And you're gonna wanna feed it into this little rectangular area. I don't know if you can see it. You want to feed that blade into that hole. And with the blade inside of the hole, as shown before, we'll just go ahead and make sure it slides into place. You screw in that little black stopper screw, like so. And you don't have to make it super tight, just until it stops. And boom, there you go. Now the arm will not go all the way back like it was before. At this point, we're pretty much done. All we need to do is put the faceplate back on top of the uh, on top of where it used to be. And you have just replaced the cutting blade on the X1 Carbon. And well, there you have it. The X1 Carbon cutting tool is now replaced and you should have a fresh blade on your X1 Carbon. How often do you change your cutting tool on your X1 Carbon? I think the last time I changed my cutting tool was maybe about five or 10 kilograms ago. So they seem to be pretty durable. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. And if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna have a whole series on how to maintain your X1 Carbon, as well as your A1 Mini. And be sure to hit the notification bell to be reminded when these videos come out. While I still have your attention, check out one of my other videos that I've got working on right here. Or, you know, go watch another video. I think Mr. Beast has something pretty cool. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'd be sad if you didn't click on one of them. All right, later.